This is Twit. Well, I, I decided that I needed to uh, get a little bit better with my uh, security for email. I, I, in my profession, I deal with clients and other colleagues sending information, sensitive information back and forth. Oh, yeah. So you know, I, I see so many. I get emails from uh, attorneys all the time. And they're perfectly in the clear. Anybody could read them, but it always has a paragraph at the bottom. And yeah. I, I wonder how enforceable this is. It says, this isn't is addressed to you. Don't read this. It's illegal. And I wonder how enforceable that is. It's like, you know, come on. Well, it, you know what? It works against other attorneys. It, ah. if another attorney receives something they're not supposed to. They're not supposed to. They're not supposed to read it. Uh, Got use it. it. So that's why against somebody else. Gonna meet me. Meanwhile, if you're a but physician, anyway. there's all sorts of very strict rules about, you know, sending yeah. stuff. Private information in the clear. You can't do it. So, how can we help you do that? Well, I settled on a service. Uh, Encryptomatic has a uh, lock bin, it's called. It seems to work best for me and, and for people I deal with. Uh, all they need to know is a password uh, that they're going to use that I, I create for them, or they can tell me what it is. And it, it makes it easy for them to click on it. But I was talking to a colleague and telling them, here, send me this material through this the service I have. And they said, oh, I don't have to do that. I'm using Gmail. You're using Gmail. It's all encrypted anyways. That's actually true. Yeah. Is it? Here's the and, difference. And Here's the difference. It is true. Gmail encrypts in transit. Uh, now, the problem is a lot of email providers don't have... Encryption means scrambling it so nobody can read it. Now, there is a big asterisk next to so nobody can read it, which I'm going to talk about in a second. If it's encrypted... Uh, you have to agree on the encryption, right? And so email providers, most email providers uh, are don't have encrypted conversations with other email providers. But Gmail knows, well, we're sending it from a Gmail account to a Gmail account. It will be encrypted. It'll be encrypted on Gmail and in transit. But then there's this asterisk, and this may or may not affect you. You didn't encrypt this with your password, so how is it encrypted? With Google's password. Google can read it. Uh that's the big asterisk on a lot of these encryption services. And there, there's, you know, you can read the terms of service. You can study it up. There are a couple of tells. If, for instance, you forget your password and they can send it to you, that means they know it, right? That would be one yep. definite giveaway. Uh, and the reason a lot of services don't do true encryption where you create the password is there's no recovery possible. You know, if you, if you so if this cryptomatic... If you is that what it's called, Cryptomatic? Uh, no, and and crypto and Cryptomatic is the company. It's called Lockbin, L O C K B I N. If you can uh, lock, forget your password and they can't help you, that's good. Yeah, that's how their system. They is. should like say, they, you know, hey, don't lose your password. There's no way <laughs> we can get it back. That means they don't know it. But a lot of services, and by the way, Apple and iCloud, Dropbox. They know the password. So that may be okay with you. you. You may trust Google or Apple or Dropbox or Microsoft. You may say, well, it's fine if they know the password. But it's important to understand the limits of your privacy. The only time it's completely private between you and your recipient is if you use an encryption technology that only you know the password. Maybe your recipient knows it. Maybe he doesn't. This is why I like something called public key crypto. That has two keys. One key you keep to yourself and one key you can hand out. And then anyone can send you something that's encrypted, but only you can read it and, and vice versa. That's public key cryptography. That's the preferred way. That's kind of how PGP, pretty good privacy, and GNU privacy guard work. Uh, I'm looking at uh, Lockbin here, secure messaging simplified. Uh, to, okay, yeah, it looks like they have good, uh, good strong encryption. They're using AES-256. And, of course, SSL is the standard uh, encryption the webs all websites uh, use. Here's a good, good question, and they have it in their FAQ. Is it HIPAA compliant? Because HIPAA is a very strong federal privacy rule for medical documents, and it says it is. So that's very, you know, Dropbox isn't. iCloud yep. isn't. So that's a very good way to to uh, test that it's safe. And then the last, then you should see, what if I forget the password? What happens? <laughs> and if they say, well, you're out of luck, that's good. Uh, well, they tell you to download the, the password file. They give you that opportunity to do that, I guess. Okay, but I notice uh, keep it where, where they say, will you comply with police demands to turn over my messages? 
They say, if legally demanded, we must supply your encrypted documents and metadata. Lockbin does not have a back door, so we are unable to supply decryption keys for your documents. That's exactly what you want. It means that you control the key, not them. So that's good news. That means a, nobody can read it unless you give them permission, in effect. So, yeah, this is if, – if, if they're not lying, which, you know, that's – computing is a certain amount of trust. <laughs> but if you trust the company yeah. and you trust their policy and you, and you think these answers to these questions are accurate, this is secure. Now, the question is the passwords. And I, I, I got – you know, I've have, I have personal password vaults. Uh, one you recommend and another one that I use. But uh, to make things simple, if I just told my clients, when I, when I need to communicate with you, I'm creating a password for you to use this system, and it's always going to be, and I don't laugh, it's always going to be your social security number and your birth date. My theory is that if someone knows their social security number and their birth date, they're not going to be breaking into my email. They're going to be breaking <laughs> into my client's bank account. Yeah, that's right. I think that's a safe one. So, that solves that problem. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there's, this is the problem with what we call symmetric key cryptography. One key, both sides need to know it. There's always this risk that in the transport of the key, it will be intercepted. And that's why public key crypto is so powerful, because there is no key transmitted. You keep that private key close, and you don't let anybody see it, and it's the only thing that can be used to decrypt it. You don't want to use that with your customers. This is what's kept cryptography and 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 encrypted email in the in a very limited sphere is because it's too hard to use. So I I think what you're doing is fine. It's so much better than what anybody else is doing, <laughs> to be honest. Okay. All right. right. All right. Are you an attorney? Yeah, is that your is that your business? Yes. yes. Yeah. I, I do Most attorneys don't do. Yes, you have socials. You have tax returns. You have a fiduciary responsibility to your clients to keep that private. And I'm thrilled that you're doing that and you're paying attention. There's another uh, way, system that I use that's very good. That Remi Lockbin reminds me of. It's called MiniLock. This is also a trust no one encryption service, and it's a it's a symmetric. They can, uh, you know, you share the key. It's a way of locking files and transmitting files. Uh, and I this is this is an open source standard. So I I like open because that means somebody can read it and see if it's doing what it says or if there's a back door for anybody and that kind of thing. So this is another one I would look at, and this requires uh, no third party at all. M i n i l o c k dot i o, if you want to know more about it. And you do have to share a key, and the key would not be a social; it would be a long, strong key which you'd have to share. <laughs>